What's up guys, it's Team Park with Respective here, back with another video. And today, we will be reviewing the most underrated coaster I've ever ridden, Icebreaker. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's get it! Yeah! Icebreaker is a premier ride multi-launch shuttle coaster that opened in February of 2022. As it, it goes through several airtime moments and is a great ride. No inversions but that doesn't matter because it's an awesome sensor ride and has really fun airtime. Now let's get into the layout. Icebreaker starts by moving forward onto a transfer track and then the transfer track moves right will, will be positioned onto the launch track. Then in about 5 seconds or so, it will be propelled backwards slowly up a hill, then a spike, then it comes down and moves forward into a hill, then it goes halfway up the top pad. Then it does those two sections all over again, but the back of the train goes all the way up the spike and it comes down, then it hits its top speed on the first launch of 52 miles an hour. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these four hills before the main drop all have air time. And then it comes down an angle of descent of about 70 degrees, or at least that's what it looks like, into a tight turn which pulls a bit of lateral g-force. Into what looks to be a double down. Well, it looks like that and feels like that, so I'm gonna call it this element of double down. Into a helix thing where it starts like a helix but ends like a treble clef. I don't know, I don't exactly know what this is called, but yeah. Also, if you're in the back coming out of this element, you get yanked out of this, out of the element. And then after that comes a wave turn, which you get sideways the time, which is so cool. This element is basically on every arm seat, but yeah. And then it comes kind of like a stangle dive, but not really, because it's not beyond vertical banking. I didn't really feel anything on this element, but it's still cool. After the stangle dive, not really, comes the last two elements. The speed hill, which also, like every hill on this ride, gives it jacked to air time. And then the final element of the ride is a hill into the break one, which this wait, which is short but sweet. So anyways, Ice Breaker is indeed the most underrated coaster I've ever ridden, which I don't know why that is. It has air time, it is whippy, the only part of this ride I don't, didn't like wasn't even the coaster itself, it was the restraint system. I feel like they don't even need the comfort cards because I mean it doesn't even have inversions and positive g-force were to keep people in the seat. But that's my opinion on Icebreaker. And for its final score, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. It's super good, the only problem is it's pretty short and the comfort cards are a pain to get in. I do recall one time riding Tempesto and when I was getting in a piece of metal like pinched me I believe. But anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this review don't forget to share this with everyone you know and I'll see you in the next one. Theme Park Retrospective out.